What were you doing when September 11th happened, and where were you? I was, it was my first year teaching at a new school, and it was maybe the second or third day of classes. Um, and so it was like I was in a new community. I was living right outside of New York City in a community where lots of my students, moms and dads, commuted into, the, into New York, and the, the town where we were living and where I worked was, um, was very much a business community, and so lots of people knew people in those in those buildings, and um, it was just, it was really scary, and like the town was on the coast, right up Long Island Sound, and you could go out to the beach in that town and look down Long Island Sound and see the smoke coming up, um, and on a really clear day, you can see the New York City skyline, and so that was really, it was really scary being that close to it, and it was really scary knowing so many people who were either directly or indirectly affected, um, and like there was, for some reason, there were certain towns, like in New Jersey, and then there was another town right over, I was living in Connecticut, the next town over in New York, um, there was just, for some reason, a ton of people worked for Cantor, Cantor Fitzgerald in Rye, New York, and there was, I don't know, like, I guess, I'm going to say 25 people from that town were killed that day, and the thing that nobody was anticipating, I mean, there's just like these moments of how you, how, how it hits home, is that night, all these cars were parked at the commuter train station, and then nobody ever came to pick them up. You know, and so like it was like little things like that that were just like gut wrenching in terms of how how serious it was. That's scary. That time has gone by so quickly. But what's really interesting is that you know, having taught high school for all those years, now is the first time this year is really the first time where my students as ninth graders don't have a memory of that day, um, and they just, they don't remember it, like it's not part of their active memory, either they were too, they were too little, um, and so that, I just can't believe that time has passed so quickly that this is not, they don't remember the news, they don't remember seeing the images over and over and over of those buildings coming down, and, um, and so I do talk about it, I definitely, I definitely do, but it, it's more interesting to sort of think about it in terms of how it affects kids. How is their perception of the world different because of the war? I mean, I think it's, it's completely changed. It's set a whole new tone for what 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 we're about and what we're invested in and what we will defend and what we will attack. You know, I grew up in the tail end of the Cold War, where as a little kid I didn't know why, but I knew that communism was terrible and you know the Russians were scary and. Everything like and like and that was the world that I grew up in and like you know and it's like kids now are growing up with like terrorists are terrible and it's that same <laughs> it's that same fear mongering and that that that's become part of our national identity and that it's just interesting because I remember like when I was a kid like Russians were like terrifying Rocky Four was the movie that like <laughs> epitomized the Cold War of like Sylvester Stallone strong American against like scary muscular robotic <laughs> Russian man who was evil because he was Russian and communist and, you know, a product of the Russian communist regime. So it's like we, like, it's like the exact same thing, but instead of having the Russians and the communists as our enemy, we now have terrorists as our, as our enemy. Fear of the Cold War. So I really hope that this generation grows up okay. And, you know, and I guess sort of seeing now, like, this new theme in our history, I wonder what's next. You know, like, what, what are your kids going to grow up with? Uh, when I'm retiring as a teacher 20, 30 years from now, like, what's the next thing that's going to come? And I, I don't wish for another Cold War. I certainly don't wish for another September 11th, but it, it seems like that's sort of the cycle of, of, of history. Um, what or how do you think the U.S. would be different if it didn't happen? We would not have been at war for the last 10 years, which I think is the biggest. Um, I think our economy would be a whole lot stronger. I, I can't even imagine. Um, I, I wish I wish it were different. I wish it never happened. Um, you know, I mean, it's just really simple. I just wish it never happened. And I, for so many reasons, but I, I think that, I mean, it was a great unifying event in the sense that, you know, everybody at the time had American flags in their cars, American flags everywhere. It was, it was like the 4th of July, and it was a very somber 
bad way. Um, you know, like you didn't have an American flag on your car, you felt unpatriotic. You know, it was very much this like pulling together of the nation. Um, but then at the same time, it was, you know, God forbid you criticize anything about the American response. And, and so, you know, there was anthrax scares right after that. Like, you know, did you guys study that? Like, it was like, I mean, literally, within like a month or two after September 11th, like, politicians in D.C. were getting these, like, envelopes in the mail with anthrax, and so everybody was freaking out that, like, ant, like, there, there was, like, biological weapons, and the government was, like, telling us to, that we had to, like, stock up on water and be ready for, you know, mass evacuations. It, it was, and again, I was living close to New York City, so I think we felt especially targeted. Um, it would just be nice to erase all of that. If that hadn't happened, that would be nice. To not feel targeted. To not feel so scared. But I think that was definitely, um, you know, I felt really scared. And, and it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And my kids at the time, they didn't, like my kids, my students, they didn't, like they knew it was terrible, but they couldn't quite wrap their heads around like what it meant.